So the program that we're going to be using is called OBS Studio. It's a free open source program for both PC and Mac that's primarily built for streaming, but it has a great built-in screen recorder that we're going to use. Now, at first glance, this interface might seem a little bit confusing, but I promise you it's super easy once you get the hang of it. So let's dive right in. The first thing we'll do is add a source for our display. So in the source window, click on the plus button, click on display capture, give it a name, and then select the display in the next window that you would like recorded. Now, one tip is to try to use the highest resolution monitor that you have to record your screen recording. If you can get a screen recording in 4K, it significantly improves your quality. So look around in your office for the highest size screen you can find. We'll click on OK. So at the top is what's going to be recorded when we start the recording. Right now we're seeing an infinity effect because we have the OBS window open, but this will go away once we record whatever screen we're going to record. Now, for some reason, your screen does not encompass this full black box. Right click on it, click on transform, click on fit to screen to make sure that it encompasses the full canvas. So we have our display capture set up. Now let's add a recording for any microphones we might want to add. Now, you might see that there's already two in your audio mixer, but these actually don't record. So I recommend hiding these. We'll right click on them, click hide for both of these sources. To record a microphone, you need to add it as a source. So let's go back over to our plus button, click on audio input capture to set up a microphone. Once you've given it a name, select it. I'm selecting this one because it's a USB mic. Hit OK. And now you'll see it's added a track back in our audio mixer that shows the level of your microphone. Now, if you want to record the sound of what's playing on your screen, you'll need to add another source for that. Let's click on the plus button again, find audio output capture, give it a name, and then you want to select speakers or headphones to capture whatever's playing on your computer. Now, one thing you need to do is right click on these, click on advanced audio properties, and then make sure that you set up each of these as a different audio track. So our microphone will set up as track one. So we have that as audio input capture. Let's deselect tracks two, three, and four. And then our audio output capture right here, that is the recording of our desktop. So let's set that to track two. We'll make both of these mono sources. Then we can hit close. Perfect, we're just about ready to start recording. We just have a few settings we need to set up. Let's navigate to the settings panel and then find the output tab. In the output tab, make sure your output mode is set as advanced. Then navigate over to the recording tab. This is where we're gonna change most of our settings. Right here is where you can select where you want your recording to save. For now, I'll just click on the desktop. Recording format, I would recommend MP4 or MOV. Audio track, make sure we select one and two for both our microphone and desktop audio. Encoder, I would set to the NVIDIA H.264 encoder. And then finally below is where we're gonna change the quality of the actual screen recording. In the rate control section, click on CBR, which stands for constant bit rate. And I'd recommend at least 10,000 kilobytes Higher is gonna give you higher quality, and this is especially important if there is a lot going on screen, like you're playing videos or there's a lot of fast movements. So I usually set mine around 20,000 kilobytes per second. You can go a little bit higher, but just note the higher you go, the more space you're gonna take up. For the preset, you can select max quality or quality. Profile leave is high. And then let's apply these settings. And then there's just one other thing we need to check on. We'll go to our video tab, make sure our canvas resolution and output resolution is sized to the size of your monitor. For example, mine is a 4K monitor, so it's set to 3840 by 2160. And then finally, in the FPS settings, you can set anywhere from 24 to 60. We'll select 60, and then we'll hit apply. So everything is set up, ready to go. All we need to do now is click on start recording 
and then begin our screen recording. OBS is gonna record whatever our display shows, so go ahead and navigate to your web browser or whatever program you're showing off and begin your screen recording. When you're done, just navigate back to OBS and click Stop Recording, and then you're gonna find it where you told OBS to save the file. Now, a few extra tips for screen recordings. If you're using a browser to show off a web application, I highly recommend removing your bookmarks and using a clean browser. Get rid of any plugins you have, might have there or extra tabs. That just makes it look a little bit cleaner and easier to follow. Also, I'd recommend zooming in slightly by using Control or Command Plus to zoom in to like 125%. And then finally, both Mac and Windows allow you to increase the size of your cursor, which again, is just gonna make it easier for someone to follow along. So I hope you learned a ton in this video. At Capture, our goal is to make video easy for your marketing team. So if you have any questions or if there's a video you'd like to see from us, please leave a comment down below. My name is Rob Devroy and thanks for watching.